One other thing I want to mention is this is, and I'm te- we're telling you this as a public service. We're telling you this up front. I promise you, I, Mike Nelson, again, prick my finger, write it in blood. You are going to encounter either somebody who freely admits this or somebody who won't admit this hmm. at all. Don't trust them. Seasonal affective disorder. Oh, you sad. know what I'm talking about? In the next 33 to 30 days to 60 to 90, it'll be magnified. Mm-hmm. People who just can't deal with this time of year. I have an ex and a very good friend. Yeah. Not the same person. No. <laughs> who, um, who, who always about this time of year. Now, it takes me a long, long time, a long time. I'm dense, people. It takes me a long time to recognize patterns. I am very slow to a conclusion, and once I reach that conclusion, I'm very quick to act, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I need data points upon data points. You are going to encounter friends, family, loved ones in the next few days to few months who feel sad for no explainable reason. Remember a couple episodes ago, we were talking about when somebody comes at you, bro, you need to maybe say, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Hi. Do you feel okay right now? This is the time of year where people, first of all, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, plain and simple, you're not getting enough vitamin D. Hi, not a doctor. Consult your physician. Unless you're a ginger. Did you know that the mutation that makes you ginger also makes it so that you don't need as much vitamin D? So you don't need as much vitamin D and you're more likely to see UFOs in an, as an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots yeah, of weird stuff got- <laughs> going on, man. I'd like to think it makes me interesting, but you know realistically, it makes me maybe a little too interesting. <laughs> Carl, I want to say to you that you are unique and special. Stop. Just like everybody else. I know. I know. But realistically, like that mutation is actually a thing that yeah. you can study and it's a whole thing. Like biological (laughs) but first of all and look uh, you told you taught me you taught an old dog new tricks which is right i was i don't know i was complaining about my state of being somehow Uh, i feel lethargic and i don't feel energetic today and you said why don't you have a red bull and i'm like what okay look 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 half an hour later oh man i feel great i'm gonna i'm gonna slay the day and get things done Mm mm-hmm and you said, Mike, we're all just chemicals. And we are, right? We are. We, we're basically protein, water, and chemi- and a few chemicals, and maybe a little electricity up here. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. it. Well, and I guess if we broke it down. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I acknowledge there's probably a soul in there somewhere. Well, I was going to say, I guess if we broke it down really, really small, we're all just atoms. Yeah. You know, and those atoms interact with each other. Yeah. It. It's just how it works, dude. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if you know somebody with SAD, seasonal mm-hmm. affective disorder, get a SAD lamp. It's mm-hmm. like UV light right in your home. Um, dose them on vitamin D. Like a little lizard on a rock with a heating lamp. 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 20 milligrams a day? Not doctors. Again, you not can't hold us. <laughs> you can't hold us accountable for this. I'm saying Google these things. Yeah. With a please. Or talk to your physician, dude. A thank you and a question you know mark. WebMD that. You'll probably have cancer. <laughs> Now, that being said, if you have insurance, <laughs> if you have insurance, just go to a doctor, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and say, hey, I'm feeling a little blue. Yeah. I'm feeling a little down in the dumps. Oh, say, I don't have any blue to feel, but I'm um, <laughs> feeling say, I'm blue. I, I mean, I could touch my eyeballs, but I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you could say, hey, doc, I've heard of this thing called SAD. I think I might have it. Can I describe my symptoms? There's no shame in that game. And I also yeah. want to, full disclosure, say I'm a complete hypocrite because I'm sitting on a year's worth of prescriptions. I was prescribed um, a low dose, 10 milligrams a day of, I don't know, low fram, low pram. Zofran. Zo- Isn't that the tummy med? No. Wait, yes. Uh, I don't know. I was prescribed 10 milligrams of some bullshit that I've never touched. And the reason is I figure I'm going to get my shit together someday. You know that meme? It's a screenshot of a tweet where it's like, step one, and there's a blank. Step two, a blank. Step three, a blank. Step four, a blank. Step five, and then you'll all be sorry. (laughs) Yeah, you know, world domination. (laughs) Yeah. 
So I'm not one to talk, but I just I want to put that out there because so many people won't admit that it's a chemical thing, baby. Mm-hmm. Have a Red Bull a day for the next 30 days or whatever you got to do and, you know, get get through this. It's just this time of year. And do you feel a little post-Christmas depression? Yeah. You know, or post holidays depression. That's the thing. It, it's kind of right between depression and relief. <laughs> okay, I'm you feeling know? right to to your point earlier. I completely understand. I get that, and I'm yeah. feeling just a little bit of. Even by mentioning it, I'm putting too much weight on it. Okay, uh huh. But I'm feeling a little bit of emptiness, and what I mean is, I got everything I wanted for Christmas. Mm-hmm. I got this extravagant pair of. The comfiest sweatpants made by man and modern technology. You're too nice. And thank you for those. I've got all the chocolate I could possibly want, except maybe what's over here. We'll get to in just a second. (laughs) My heart is so full. And I guess I'm, you know that expression, don't be sad because it's over. Be glad because it happened. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I'm still a little, oh, it's over. Right. I still, right. I want one more week of Christmas music. <laughs> but I mean, at least we're back to schedules and that's good too. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm I, I'm okay with that. I'll, yeah. you know what, I'll just make it extra special next year or whatever I got to do. Well, and also, I don't have to worry too much about that because now there's that nice little time between Christmas and my birthday. Yes. <laughs> and that means... to. You can save up a paycheck and a half. <laughs> well, here's the beauty of it. Um, technically, today starts the first day of my birthday. Mm. Your birthday month. My birthday. Car- <laughs> my whole entire birthday. <laughs> Carly's birthday is January 25th. Put it in your calendar. 